It's a little theologian. Just kidding, guys. What's going on? It's Laz. What's up, BC? So it's been a, quite a while since I've done a final update. Um, so I'm going to get this banged out. I've got a lot of stuff to shelve, uh, so I want to get it up. Um, I don't know. Vinyl updates myself for me doing them. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I think do people really give a damn, you know, what records you're buying. But uh, then again, I find myself when I watch videos sometimes, yeah, that is what I like to see. But I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me run through some of these. First off, what we're listening to in the background, hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. Uh, I doubt it for this, but uh, um, this is uh, Warrior, Let the Battle Commence. This is a fucking legend of a record, man. So uh, this is on uh, Buried by <clears throat> Time and Dust Records. This came out in 1981. This is kind of more of a hard rock record, not a metal record, but it's fucking phenomenal. Um, Think of it as, uh, I don't know, I guess the way I would describe it is like, this may sound odd, but uh, Blue Easter Cult meets Leonard Skinner, man, you know, but killer fucking record. So, okay, so here's some stuff. So what's been going on actually is my local record store is getting ready to transition. Um, it's called The Last Record Store. And one of the partners that opened the store years ago is retiring. And so he's actually, not is, he did, uh, he sold it to one of the guys that's worked there for years. And so they're, uh, they're in the midst of getting ready to transition, I believe, this coming month. So they're doing a big freaking blowout sale right now. Uh, five bucks off any new vinyl, um, you know. Uh, to us old guys, those are called records. Um, so $5 off any new record, not used, but new, and $5 off any new CD. Um, so I scooped up some stuff, and uh, this was uh, this was <laughs> a really good find. This was brand new for $9.99, so I paid 5 bucks for this. So this is Heretic, um, uh, Praising Satan. So... This is later Heretic. Uh, you know, they're kind of very, uh, at this stage, misfitty, I guess, um, is the way I would kind of describe this. But uh, cool record, uh, Gatefold on Soul Cellar. So, uh, you know, I'm sure uh, Aaron, Metal Theologian, um, I'm sure you're all over these guys. <clears throat> Their early stuff is just killer. But for five bucks, I wasn't going to pass that up. This is actually, this was an online order. Um, I've been after a nice copy of this for a while. It's not that rare. It's not that expensive. But this is Rothschild UK. Um, this is the 12-inch uh, for Do You Want My Love? And the best part of this is the B-side, which is Twist of the Knife. Classic Rothschild. Um, love that freaking track. This is absolutely a dead man copy of this. Um, scored it online. I mean, come on, man. Look at that freaking dude. That that was the day, you know. Those were the days right there. So, so happy to get that. And then, uh, time for a boot in the ass. Um, so, boot in the ass. That comes from, um, uh, Jesus. Man Cave of Doom. God, slipping my mind. Watch Man Cave of Doom. Um, subscribe to the channel. Check it out. Anyway, this is a boot in the ass. This is uh, John Michael Thor. It's not John Mickle Thor. People say John Mickle. It's not. It's Michael, M I K L. Um, trust me, I know the man. Um, but this is a boot called Thor's Teeth. Uh, this was. I hate that sound. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, when was this recorded? I don't recall now, but here's the, uh, the insert or the gatefold. Oh, when was this damn thing recorded? Black labels on black vinyl. Uh, not too long ago, 2000 something. 
one. I see the date on it now. It's got all, all the classic Thor stuff, primarily off of only the strong, um, you know, which is the uh, the album to own by Thor. If you're going to own anything, own that. But so glad to add this to my Thor collection. I do still have all of my Thor stuff. Um, so happy to add that one. Okay, here's a Record Store Day release that I missed. And they still had one in stock, so I got it for a screaming deal. Um, I think it was $19.99, so I got it for $14.99. And that was the, uh, the Dio picture disc <clears throat> for Dream Evil. So I actually missed that one. I can't believe I missed that one, so I was glad to get that. Now, speaking of picture discs, this was a cool find. I got a local store. I've talked about them in the past. But kind of a secondhand store. It's not really a thrift store. It's more of a store where people come in and they trade stuff in. Um, or the owner will buy out companies that are going out of business and buy their stock and sell it in the store. Things like that. Um, but they do vinyl there. And I walked in and this was on the wall. And I paid 20 bucks for this. And it's a, it's a first issue, original issue, first pressing. And it was, it's never been played. Um, and I don't buy a lot of this band except for the first three or four albums. Um, but this is one that I actually used to own. So I was very happy to get it back. And that's the Ride the Lightning picture disc from Metallica. Um, this is a first issue music for nations. So I dropped a 20 on that. Very happy to do so. So I have that one in. Here's another RSD store that I uh, uh, missed. And this is uh, Freely's Comet Live. And this is on orange vinyl. I'm not going to open these up or open them all up. But So this sounds freaking amazing, man. What a recording. Um, those that uh, follow on the, uh, the Facebook page, Old School VC Metalheads, right? Yeah, um, we'll see some of these things that I've, I've posted there before. Uh, here's another one that, that I got at the store. Uh, this was $14.99, I think, so I paid 10 bucks for this. And this is Jaguar Power Games, classic new wave of uh, heavy metal, uh, British heavy metal on Neat Records. Um, and uh, I could have cared less about the vinyl on this one. I just wanted the album. I used to have an original back in the day. Um, but it's on green and brown camo vinyl. You know, I like colored vinyl, but camo vinyl, it, it just looks like a, a split pea soup and baby shit all mixed together. It's whatever. But it sounds killer. Glad to have it. So adding that one in. Uh, here's another online order. I forgot to mention, in this video, I've got a couple of grails. So, we'll talk about that. Um, this is a 12-inch promo for Accept Generation Clash. Um, I love my 12-inch singles. Um, I love 12-inch promotional singles. Um, I know uh, Scott Waters is into those two. Greeno. Um, we all like these things, man. And, and I got a feeling if I were to predict this kind of stuff right here is now starting to kind of really be sought after. It's always been sought after, but I think now more so than ever, because this is the stuff that's not getting repressed. Okay. You know, with repressings now, uh, especially for metal, you know, they're almost doing, you know, pretty soon. You know, everything's going to be repressed. These won't. Um, okay, back to that second-hand store. Not second-hand store, but the store I was talking about. I found this in, they have a $2 bin, and I found this in there, and I'm like, I've, I've never seen this record. And so I flipped it over, and I saw the Japanese writing on the bottom, and I'm like, oh, you see, two bucks, i got to grab that. And that's uh, Billy Squire, Live and More. And when I got home and pulled it out, I found the half a Obi strip inside. So, and it does have the insert, you know, the Japanese insert. And it's, the, the vinyl's perfect, like unplayed. So, two bucks. 
So, and I do like Billy Squire. Uh, the first two albums, really, more than anything. Um, okay, uh, this is a shout out to my buddy Vance, because um, I've recently discovered, especially because he's a local boy in Chicago. So, uh, what's up, VK? Um, uh, we share quite the passion for sticks. Um, you know, uh, my favorite non-metal band uh, is, is Styx. Uh, always has been. And I finally found a good copy of this. I've been after this for a while. Usually when I see them, they're kind of beat. But this is uh, Rock Galaxy Styx. This is a gatefold. Um, this is a series. They did a series of this. They did, uh, even shows them on the back of There's one for Scorpions, which I think I noticed. Who posted a Scorpions? Um, is that Steve? Steve Bodin, I think, posted a copy. Uh, this is the Sticks one. This is, uh, I believe it's, uh, French? No, German. It's a German pressing. Killer Gatefold. And you would think this is like a best of. No, this is basically sticks one and sticks two, is what this is. Big blue spine. But very happy to have that. I really need to do a sticks vinyl collection video. Um, I did one years ago. Um, I do still have all my sticks, uh, as well as so many more that's been added to it since then. Okay, back to the record store blowout sale. Um, I already have this, but I couldn't let it go. It was $14.99, paid $10 bucks for it. I'm leaving it sealed because I already have one, but I could not leave it there. And this is Nitro o OFR. And it's on the uh, red and yellow explosion vinyl. But I couldn't leave it there, man. Not, not for $10. Bucks. So. Uh, next up, okay, got some power metal here. This is, um, anyone that's followed my channel for a long time know I absolutely love Arian. Uh, um, Arjun Lukasen's power project, I guess. Um, he gathers musicians from all over the metal industry and puts them together and does these real big concept records. Um, this is, uh, Transistors. I have not even listened to this yet. Um, it's a, a two LP set on red vinyl. And what's cool is this one. So I'm not sure what the story is to this one yet. Each album kind of has a story, but this one comes with a graphic novel inside telling the story. It's got the art and everything. So, and this one, Features, you know, I mean, Anzi Curse from Blind Guardian. There's been so many musicians. This one, we actually have, uh, here's all the musicians. And D. Snyder here makes an appearance, and he's playing a character called The Father. So I'm really curious to see what this is. Like I said, I haven't actually spun it yet. But there is not a bad Aryan album. In fact, one of my most expensive albums that I have in my collection is a original pressing of um, Inside the Electric Castle uh, which is goes for quite a bit um, and then another Arian this is uh, Electric Castle Live and Other Tales and this is a 3 LP set on gold vinyl And Fish from Marillion is on this one, as well as, you know, I don't know, 20 plus other musicians. Real thick bastard. So a couple of Arians. Um, very excited to get those into the collection. Uh, another one from the store blowout sale. I picked this up. This is one I didn't have. I kind of passed on it. It's been out for a while just because I kind of wasn't interested in what it, interested in what it was or what it is. But now that I got it and I've spun it, I'm actually glad I picked it up because next to Sticks, my favorite non-metal band is probably going to be BOC. So um, I hadn't picked this up. And this is Bad Channels. 
Blue Oyster Cult, 2LP, um, the, or the original motion picture soundtrack, I haven't seen it, couldn't tell you. Um, but this is a split vinyl one, uh, uh, I, th I think it's disc one is blue, disc two is black. Um, but it's got some tracks by BOC on the first disc, and then the second disc is the score, all written by Blue Oyster Cult, and it's, the second disc is phenomenal, man. I really dug that, so glad to add that to the BOC collection. Uh, picked this one up, Iced Earth, <coughs> Incorruptible, Orange Vinyl, 2LP. I don't care what people say. I fucking love John Schaefer, and I fucking love Iced Earth. I don't give a crap what your politics are, what his politics are. I know no one gives a crap what my politics are. It's fucking Iced Earth, and Iced Earth fucking rules. So, glad to get that. Classic reissue here. Another one by Buried by Time and Dust Records. This is Savage, 1979 to 1982. This is on yellow vinyl. Classic, man. God, this is so good. This reminds me, uh, if, you, if no one's heard Savage, it reminds me of um, early Def Leppard. Okay, think of Def Leppard from the EP. Um, that's kind of what this, this feels like. So get, get one of these before these are gone. Take my word on that. Okay, Grail time. So, this is one of my favorite albums um, of all time for that matter. And I scored this from a seller online, overseas, utterly stoked. Um, and this is one that will, will, will remain with me for a long, long time. Um, yeah, so this is Nasty Reputation by Axel Rudy Pell. Those that don't know Axel Rudy Pell, um, classic metal guitarist, not up there with like Yngwie Malmsteen or, or, uh, Steve Vai, Satriani, those kind of guys. More, definitely more, um, Hendrix Worship, but metal, um, and this album, uh, he always features uh, different singers. Well, actually, he's got the the latest vocalist has been on God, the past, I can't remember how many albums. But this album, this is the album that has Rob Rock on vocals. This album is, you talk about getting in your car and putting on an album, whether it's disc, MP3, what have you, cassette back in the day, and hitting the freeway, this motherfucking record right here. Um, this is the, the cover for it. I got this idea from Greeno to just print out like a cover and put it in with the, uh, the test pressings. But it comes with the, uh, the original SPV info sheet. You know, this I will open this up grill. Original glossy, super thin, you know, German. This is printed in uh, Germany on Unvuker Blosch Master Plate. And I might even needle drop this. Hopefully, I don't get busted for it, but I might needle drop this for you guys. And if I do, it'll be right here. <laughs>
But so there you go. My test pressing a nasty reputation by Axel Rudy Pell. Um, I'm so stoked to have this. You know, when it comes to grails, man, I mean, there's definitely what people call grails, you know, a record you've been after for a long time or uh, a record that was had a limited pressing, something like that, you know, and so it becomes a, a grail, you know, and I think that term can be overran sometimes or overly used. Uh, but to me, a grail is, is something like this, really, where, you know, this will probably be the only one of these I'll ever own, you know. Um, so it's, it's just one of those one of those pieces that to me is a, a grail. Um, I've loved this album for years and years. And in fact, I don't even have an, a regular pressing of it. Um, it's very rare. Um, it was only released uh, in Germany. It was never released in the U.S. Um, so I hope, God, I would love for this to be repressed one day. But for now, yeah. And because of that, what I do have is this is actually Axel Rudy Pell's first album. And this is also a German pressing. This is Wild Obsession. And this I pulled and spun because I had to play those together, you know, so that got me into the mood. I have a lot of Axel Rudy Pell, um, but this is an original German pressing. So that was a, this is, this is an, a, a new pickup. This is more of a now spinning. But, so, and then here's another, along the same lines, kind of a grail. Uh, so, the test pressings are very cool, man. I love them. Um, I have a few, uh, but this one's kind of special. Um, I know a lot of, a lot of metal, a lot of the metal crowd kind of puts these guys down. Um, but it's funny, Greeno and I was just talking about this band, um, texting about them, and uh, to, you know we both kind of got out of each other how much we love this band. But this is an original from 1982, Arista, uh, test pressing for Crocus, one vice at a time. And once again, I just printed the cover, and stuck it in there. But it's even dated on there, 216, 82, and it's got the song list on both sides. So, very, very happy to get that. Kind of another grail piece. Um, this one is definitely a grail piece. Uh, when it comes to power metal, there are different kinds of power metal. There are different tiers of power metal, so to speak. Um, and this is one of the bands that are kind of like, whoo, they're way up there. It's very orchestrated. Um, they've even been labeled uh, symphonic Hollywood power metal, you know, all these labels that we put on. But I've followed this band since the beginning. And this is a bootleg uh, that came out years ago. And I found a seller that had one in mint condition. It's limited to 200 copies. And this is Rhapsody, Eternal Glory. And, you know, if, if you want to know about Rhapsody, um, what they sound like, if you don't know, uh, basically put on any Rhapsody album and hit play on your Blu-ray player and watch fucking Lord of the Rings. There you go. Um, but, yeah, this was uh, limited to 200 copies. And very, very happy to have this. Uh, it's, um, Cypress Records. I don't know if you can see it there. It's been around for a while, but it's tough to find. Um, they did another one of, uh, that's a live album. So very, very happy to get that. Uh, this is, uh, not the newest, this... It's the album before the newest, I believe. This is Sabaton, The Great War. Fucking love Sabaton. You know, I love uh, their theme that they've always had, which is, you know, uh, historical wars. 
Um, and this is this one's on tan colored vinyl, gatefold. Love Sabaton. Almost there. Okay. The Mighty Hammerfall. And this is Hammerfall Live <clears throat> against the World 3LP set on orange vinyl. Trifold. Um, this set, the inner trifold of this is a killer shot. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. <sighs> so heavy. There you go. The Mighty Hammerfall. I love this band. Speaking of test pressings, we'll get into those later. <clears throat> but Hammerfall, this is the Dominion Tour. So this is new. Um, and I'll tell you something with, with Hammerfall. You know, Scott Waters says it all the time, and he's absolutely correct, because that's when I discovered him, was on the first album. But this is the band that kept traditional metal alive through the 90s, and, or the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, another one by Hammerfall. This is one that I missed the original of when it came out, so I'm so happy they, they repressed this. This is Hammerfall Masterpieces. <coughs> this one's on a, a, a bicolored vinyl, a split. It's yellow and blue. And this is uh, every Hammerfall, or almost every Hammerfall album, they will do a cover song, okay? And this collects all of them from all the albums, all the cover songs, puts them in, in one spot. And it's just killer. I love the cover because you can see the bands all signified there. You got, you know, my beloved Warlord, right there is the Warlord Shield. The Halloween Jack O' Lantern, um, uh, the Loudness Japanese flag, because yeah, they cover uh, Crazy Nights and so on. You'll see all the different band representations in the cover. But this is an absolute must, man. This is just killer. Um, Gamma Ray to the metal. This was a Record Store Day release that was released only in the UK. We could not get this in the States on Record Store Day. However, now this is available on Amazon. And they're all hand numbered. You'll see down there, this is number 1080 out of 1500. And so when I saw this became available on Amazon, I, I grabbed it. This is orange vinyl. Um, so here's a funny thing that happened. So on Amazon, those that shop on Amazon, you know, you can, you know, put stuff in your cart or you can just swipe and buy it now. Right. So I was at work. And so I, when I discovered it and I was on a lunch break and so I, I'm like, man, I stuck it in the cart. I'm like, I'm going to wait till I get off, make sure that's the one, et cetera, et cetera. So I go back to work. I'm sitting at my desk. And I'm like, you know, I pulled my phone out and I opened it up again and I'm like, screw it. And I swiped by it now. So I bought it now. Well, I forgot about the one I put in my cart. And so my wife decided to do some Amazon shopping and went ahead and paid for the one in the cart too. So I ended up with two copies. So I'm leaving this one sealed. Because uh, I'll tell you something about Gamma Ray, man. Their, their albums <clears throat> tend to go up in value, and that's n neither here nor there for me, but uh, it's here enough for me to leave it sealed. And the cool thing about this one, the sealed one, is it's number 1499 out of 1500. So this is the second to last one that was numbered. I wouldn't say it's the last, second to last one pressed, because who the hell knows, but uh, it's cool to have that number. So, two copies of that. Um, grab this on the store blowout sale. I am not the biggest black metal fan. Um, 
it's just not something that I digest well. But if there's one band I've always liked, and to, to people that are really into black metal, they even don't consider this band true black metal. Whatever, I don't care. Um, but I always liked this album. And I had it on CD, and so I went ahead and picked up the reissue, especially being on sale and it's on black vinyl. And this is <clears throat> Immortals All Shall Fall. Um, this is just killer, man. God, I, I love this album. Um, I love Abbott. I love Immortal. Um, they're about as black metal as I go. Um, love this album. So I'm glad to get that. And then the last power metal piece I got, uh, this was a Amazon buy, and it was on sale, so I snatched it up real fast. And it's a 2LP on white vinyl, the mighty Stradivarius. This is Nemesis. Love Strato. Um, though the band now is maybe half of the original Stradivarius band, but still sounds like Stradivarius. It's epic. Um, it's phenomenal. You know, Catapalto's vocals is just, I would put him, I would put him up there next to Bruce, without a doubt. But uh, another band I've followed since 99, somewhere in that area is when I discovered Strato. So it's very happy to get this. And I think, yeah, the other stuff I have, I have uh, some new Priest pieces, but I'm going to do a Priest video. Speaking of Judas Priest, for those who are interested, my Judas Priest cabinet that I built, um, it's actually right here. I don't know if you can see it. I've outgrown it. It's completely full and then some. So I'm building an addition. So that's coming up. So stay tuned for that. Actually, I forgot about one piece. That's this one. So Lizzie Borden, one of the bands that I lost my Lizzie Borden collection, and I've been slowly trying to build it back, and I'm almost there. I think I think Love You to Pieces might be the last one I need. Um, but anyway, I got this online, and this is uh, Visualize. But, so this was an eBay buy. And I'm gonna talk about this for a minute because with eBay, you know, sometimes you need to dig into the auction. If they have a lot of photos, go through all of them. Because this was not listed the way it should have been listed. And this was a very nice score. So it's an original copy, visualized. It's got the hype sticker actually on the jacket. Okay, and that's, that was kind of the first key. I'm like, oh, I know those hype stickers. And back in the day, you couldn't peel that off and stick it right on the jacket. So promo, right? So I start looking. It's got the hole punch here, but there's no promo stamp. Um, but what it does have and what it did come with, and unplayed, unplayed. Jacket's a little rough on the spine here. Vinyl's unplayed. But it came with this. So let me open this up and show you this. Oh, there's the back. But it came with the Visualize promo kit from Metal Blade. There's the insert. So, glossy 8x10 promo pick of Lizzie. All of the, uh, you know, promotional stuff for the album. And the poster. And the cool part is even the folder, right, that it comes with. I love the fact that even the folder has let's see, Metal Blade Records. 
printed right on it. So this is actually more important to me than the album. You can get the album anytime you want. But this is extremely cool. I love the photo. You know, I geek over this kind of crap, man. So, and I think this had like, I don't know, 10 photos or something to the auction. And so I just start scrolling through all the photos and he doesn't, or the, the seller didn't even show this until the final photo. And it wasn't even listed in the auction. And this is the most important piece. So I was super stoked to get this. So we'll just keep that right with the album. So I love this kind of stuff. I got the same kind of thing with like Blind Guardian, Wasp, you know, the, the, the promo stuff like that. But so now that's it. See you in the next one. Peace. Stay in the groove.